Welcome, Deronda here with Foods 101. Today, I'm showing you how to make this chocolate almond ice cream. Absolutely scrumptious. And the best part about all this is, you're not going to need an ice cream maker to make it. That's right, you're not gonna need an ice cream maker. The ingredients you're gonna need is one half cup of unsweetened cocoa powder, two cups of heavy whipping cream or one 16 ounce container, one 14 ounce can of your sweetened condensed milk. Make sure you get sweetened condensed milk. You'll be able to find this in the baking section of your supermarket and you're gonna need one cup of almonds and I'm going to toast these and show you how to do it. So let's get started. I'm using whole raw almonds with a chef's knife. I'm gonna roughly just chop them down. At this point, you want your oven preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I've got my almonds chopped down into the desired pieces that I like. And if you wanna chop it finer, you can. If you wanna leave your almonds a little bit more whole, you may. And if you wanna use those sliced almonds, you may do that too. I'm gonna transfer this over here on a cookie sheet that I've lined with parchment paper. You can see I chopped my almonds on parchment paper as well because it makes it just a lot easier to add here to the baking sheet. If you wanna shake it out, just spread it out a little bit so you can have an even single layer. And these are off to that 350 degree preheated oven on the middle rack. For the next three minutes, use your timer and no peaking. Just taking our toasted almonds out of the oven and oh my goodness, if you could smell the fragrance of these toasted almonds. Yum, now the trick is to get your almonds off your cookie sheet that's hot as quickly as possible because you don't want your almonds sitting on a hot cookie sheet because they're gonna over toast and it's definitely something you wanna avoid for our chocolate almond ice cream. Let these cool completely. Meanwhile, I'm adding my heavy whipping cream into a large bowl here that is attached to my stand mixer. I'm using the whisk attachment here. And if you don't have a stand mixer, you can just go ahead and use a regular whisk or you can use a handheld heater. I'm gonna start on low and turn it to medium. This is gonna take about two or three minutes and then I'm gonna turn it up a little higher. A little higher. And we've got it on medium high. which is number nine here on the KitchenAid. All right, after about a minute, you see how your whipping cream is starting to thicken up? That's what you're looking for. We're going to go to medium speed and we're going to whisk for another two minutes, which is number four on your stand mixer. Now that you're getting your whipping cream looking like this, look how thick that is and look how hardy it is. It'll stick right there on your spatula. It's ready for the rest of its ingredients. Make sure you get it all off your attachment there. You don't wanna over mix your whipping cream. If you do, you're gonna end up with butter on your hands. That heavy whipping cream is a high fat cream. So if you whip it too much, it's gonna to turn to butter. So be very careful not to over mix it. Add in that sweetened condensed milk. Right, we'll get it all out of that can. Fold this in with our whipping cream, about halfway. And now we're gonna add, woo, all that cocoa powder and that was a lovely little whiff of cocoa. Start folding in these three ingredients until you can no longer see cocoa streaks or whipping cream streaks here in your ice cream. So you just wanna keep folding it. I've got that cocoa and that sweetened condensed milk blended very well into our whipping cream. Oh yes, and if you could smell how yummy this is, add those toasted almonds. And again, we're going to fold the almonds in. Oh, this is gonna be so delicious. I am a fan favorite with any ice cream that has any kind of nut 
Oh my yums. If you want to leave out the almonds or leave out the nuts all together, you may. And then you're just going to have chocolate ice cream. I'm going to add my ice cream into a one quart serving dish. And we're going to add all of our chocolate almond ice cream here into that container. Oh my gosh, it's going to be so yummy. Cover until it's airtight because we don't want anything to crystallize here on top of our chocolate almond ice cream. Seal it well and this is off to the freezer for the next six hours or overnight. Here's that chocolate almond ice cream and I've had it in the freezer overnight and as a matter of fact I dug in just to see what it was going to be like when it was sitting in there for about four hours but I like it a little bit more firm, so I left it in overnight. Let's go in and see what it's like. I'm using this ice cream scooper that my son brought me back from Alaska when he was up there fishing for halibut. And oh my God, that halibut was so good. But hey, we gotta get back to this chocolate almond ice cream. Looky there. Oh, look at those almonds in it. And looky here. Oh yeah, I have a feeling it's gonna be scrumptious. So here we go. Got a little almond here in that chocolate. Wow. Mmm. Smooth. Creamy. Tastes just like chocolate ice cream with those crunchy toasted almonds. Wow. This is my all-time favorite chocolate almond ice cream. And the great thing about it is you know all the ingredients you put into it. Delicious. I'm Deronda with Foods 101. And looky there. Oh yeah. You can make scoops. You can spoon it out. You can do whatever you want to do. You can just eat it right here from this one quart container. Give me thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Hit that notification bell to be the first to get my new YouTube food videos. Thanks a million for watching you all. Stay safe and I'll catch you lovely people later. <laughs>